Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a while since I've made a video and I'm sorry about that. I've been pretty busy, but I have a new project slash experiment slash art project that I want to share with you guys. And it's this thing right behind me. So if you follow my channel, you probably know a lot of my projects are kind of math based or math inspired to some degree. And uh, this one's no different. Basically, I wanted to create a geodesic dome out of PVC pipes using 3D printed joints. So I went ahead and modeled up these five-way PVC pipe connectors in Fusion 360. And the way these work is they have the same angles as an icosahedron, aka a 1V geodesic dome. They can be 3D printed without any support, and the way they work is you basically slide in the PVC pipe, drill a hole through it, then through that you can slide a small bolt, put a nut on the other end, if I can do that, and then you have a finished um, and attached PVC pipe. To build an entire icosahedron, you'll need 12 of these 3D printed connectors along with 30 pieces of one inch PVC pipe. It doesn't matter how long the pieces are as long as they're all the same length. You'll also need 60 nuts and bolts to secure all the pieces in place. To start building, Make all the 3D printed connectors. They can be printed with fairly standard printer settings. Once you've made all 12 connectors, take three pieces of pipe and make a triangle. Then at each vertice, drill through the guide holes and secure it with a bolt. Do this for all of the pipes. This step makes assembly a bit easier because it's harder to drill the holes when all the pipes are connected in the full icosahedron. From there, you can pretty easily put it together. Just slide the pipes into the connectors, secure them in place, and soon enough you'll have a dome. Now, the observant of you might point out that this is kind of the simplest geodesic dome that you can build. It's an icosahedron, it's a 1V dome, not a 2V, 3V, or 4V. Um, but there's a particular reason I chose to build an icosahedron over any other type of dome. Um, and that's mostly for simplicity and ease of assembly. For one, in an icosahedron, all the angles between the faces and edges are the same, meaning you only need one type of connector. Secondly, as I said before, all the edge lengths are the same, meaning that you don't need to cut various lengths of PVC pipe. You just need to cut one length for a lot of pieces. Higher level geodesic domes are totally possible with this method though. In fact, a lot of people have made 2V, 3V, even 4V domes out of PVC. You just need varying lengths of pipe and different and more complicated connectors. You can find more info on building geodesic domes at desertdomes.com, which I'll have linked down below. In case you want to build my design for yourself, I'll have a Thingiverse page linked below with the design files for this connector, you can download them yourself and make your very own giant PVC dodecahedron. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you should know what to do. And if you want to follow my work going forward, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you later. XYZ Aiden, out.